In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Git and GitHub. If you've not already done so, you should download GitHub for Windows or GitHub for Mac. I've already done that, so I'm going to start that now. I've already created an account for myself on GitHub, so I'm going to log into it now. It's asking me to find local repositories. You probably want to skip that step. So I am going to go to GitHub MW1. I observe there are no repositories there, so I'm going to create one. I'll call my new repository Lab01. And the description will be repository for lab 01. Right, and we will push this to GitHub in my MW1 account. Here is the repository. And now we will open this repository. We have some setup files here that we don't really care about. Now I'm going to add some content to this repository. So I'm going to open an explorer. And now I will grab a folder. Here's a new folder, which I'll put there. It's empty. Let's create a little text document. Here is a text document created on my laptop. Control S to save it. That's a pretty terrible name. I think we're going to rename it here. Document one. And then we'll also change this folder name to something more reasonable, like folder one. You, of course, will use better names than that. Now let's go back to GitHub for Windows. And I see that it says there are uncommitted changes. It has the two files that were created automatically and now this new file that I just created. And I can see the diffs. So let's create a commit message and we'll hit commit. Now I see something very important here. Here it says we have unsynced commits. That means there are commits that are not published to the server and are not synced to the server. So let's publish this branch. Okay, I've now published this branch to the server. When I say publish, I mean I've set up the connection between the branch here and the branch on the server. Let's make some more changes to the document. Here is an edit. Again, I'll go back to GitHub for Windows, and I see it says uncommitted changes. Let's see what they were. 
and you can see that I've changed document one, and I can even see the diff. So I'll put on a commit message. This illustrates the power of Git. And now I'll commit that. Again, observe that we now have unsynced commits. Another way to tell that there are unsynced commits is by this little blue arrow, this little blue icon that says sync this branch. So let's go ahead and sync the branch. Now we are in sync. All of our stuff is on the server and all of the server stuff is on our local copy. Let's take a look to see how this repo looks on GitHub. So here is my repository, MW1 Lab01. And here's folder one. And here's document1.txt, and there it is. I can edit the document even here on GitHub. Okay, thinks I'm not signed in. We'll sign in. Now I'll hit edit, and by golly, I can edit the document. Here is another edit made on the server. So I can add material, I can edit old, old material. Do whatever I want on the server. And here's a commit summary that says I updated document one. And I say this illustrates the possibility of editing on the server. And now I'll commit those changes. Let's get that guy out of the way. And now let's go back to our local copy. Our local copy still shows in sync. Let's make sure it's right. So I go back to my dashboard. And now I open this repo again. And now it says refreshing. And it says, aha, I need to sync. Right? I am now behind by one commit. So I will sync. And now I'm in sync again. Let's go ahead and open up that document. And now you can see that the all the changes that I made, whether it was here or on the server, are in the local document. And that's the whole story. In practice, your partner will be making changes to your repository. And those will appear on the server. And when you synchronize your copy, you will get your partner's changes and vice versa. I'll show you one more thing as long as we are here. Let's go back to MW1. Over here, you see a tab that says Organizations. And one of the organizations that you will be subscribed to is CS5010F13. If we go to that organization, you see that there will be a repository. Here I've called it MW1. And that is the repository that you will use 
when you submit your work and when you do your work. So here, the repository that you will use is CS5010F13, and then here will be your CCS login name. We will create those repositories for you, and then you will be all set to go. I hope this covers most of the questions that you will ask, and I look forward to using GitHub with you.